one of the biggest problems with this lake is how big it is. And its size prevents you from breaking it down quickly. This lake is like three giant lakes in one. You've got the nut bush area, and you've got the mid lake area uh, with all the the giant creeks in that area, and then the, the river area um, from, I'd say, Grassy Creek up. So you really need four days to break this place down. Uh, you might can do it in three. There's no way you can do it in one or two. But it's just a giant place to break down and try to find uh, quality active fish for a tournament you're fishing. Uh, but I've got a lot of experience here. Gonna fish some history today. I don't have four days to break it down, but we're gonna check a few things out, see if I can figure out where these fish are, what they're doing. I came down here to County Line Ramp and the bait is so thick, so thick you can bat walk on it, really. But there's nothing eating on it. <laughs> so take that with a grain of salt, I guess. Um, th th this is our last super tournament of the year. This is the Piedmont Division, the end of the season for the Piedmont Division way out of it in the points um well over 100 i mean 100 and some odd place in points so kind of fishing that i don't have any skin in the game here i've already qualified for a regional championship on lake murray in a couple of weeks i'm here today just to have fun i'm here today because i love tournament fishing i'm here because i like the lake i like car lake um you know i've caught a lot of fish here in, in on this lake here this year and uh, so we're gonna see, we're gonna see what we can figure out. You guys tag along, see if I can uh, find some fish that wanna eat. Tiny little thing, <laughs> but look at he ate the bejesus out of it, though. You can hardly see the buzz bait. Tiny little things, not 14, 13. But his hind parts was in the dirt. He couldn't have been no shallower. Couldn't have been no shallower. Got him that time, fellas. <clears throat> He's a tiny fella. He's a tiny fella. But I'm down there on live scope. And there's, there's fish down there that ain't tiny. I mean, they're big enough where they look like they might be catfish. I don't think they're catfish. So, and look, if there's an offshore boat, I can usually find it. I'm really pretty decent at it. Guys, this is terrible. Whew. I was trying to simplify some things and get rid of some rods and I won't even use in this. It was in the damn rod box where I was putting it in the rod box. Next thing I know. God, it's almost through. I'm sure you can't see, but it's almost through. Can you see that? The sun's got a bad angle on us, so you can't see as good. But it f***ing hurts. I, it only hurts if I touch it. Like I'm moving it. I'm trying to stretch my skin over this barb if it would just barb would pop through we'd be in business i mean business got it oh baby that's a good sound when that barb just bloop, it pops through there oh baby
I'm gonna try to snip it with these dikes. These side cutters here. What? That's definitely gonna get it. <laughs> okay. Ah! Woo! Holy moly, I got it, baby. Let's get back on the water now. All right, quick midday update. So far today, the biggest thing I've stuck is my hand. That's all, it's all good now. Um, a tiny little offshore bite, but it, I can't get a catch a keeper out there. Um, I, I don't, I haven't caught, matter of fact, I haven't caught a keeper at all. So I've been fishing a lot of main lake stuff. I fished my good juice this morning, like stuff where I've caught dozens and dozens of fish off of. Um, so, and it didn't produce. So I fished a lot of main lake stuff. I actually came in the back of this pocket here looking for some bait, did not see any. When I got to County Line Boat Ramp this morning, it was like, you could walk on it, it's crazy. Um, so I'm gonna go try to find some more bait. If there's bait around, there, sh I sh there should at least be bass. And then if there's bass, I should I just need to figure out how to catch them. So we're kind of eliminating some a little bit of water now. Um, I've never, ever, ever been able to get on a consistent shallow bite here. Every time I, I really get on fish here, they're in seven to 20 foot of water, um, kind of offshore. And I, I, I've done a lot of that today and I can't find them. So we're going to have to try to find something shallow. So let's go look for some bait. First of all, it's late in the day. It's pushing four o'clock. Secondly, that's a small keeper. Well, I wouldn't call it a small keeper. It's a keeper to, uh, um, pushing late in the day. Ain't gotten bit in a long time. Just switched up worm colors. Gotta keep that color top secret. So I can't show you that. Uh, I'm sitting out here, 16 foot of water. That fish come off a stunt that I've never fished before. I just rolled up on it and there happened to be one there. And there's also a line of stumps right down here. And I'm seeing a lot of guys fishing offshore. There's one dude right there. Um, whew. I don't mind fishing offshore, but obviously, but I've been fishing offshore a lot and that's my best fish I've caught. I caught a, several dinks offshore, so I don't know. Feels good to get bit though. Oh my God, that was so cool. Oh, I can't wait to talk to you guys about it. And he come off. He, he about came back and got it again. That was really cool. Sitting in 12, throwing his little jerk bait. He comes screaming up off of the stump and just whoosh, smoked it. I even said, I don't know if you heard me. I said, here he comes. That was really cool. That's the power of live scope right there. That's fun. Listen, there's obviously an offshore bite. Uh, you've got to weed through. Uh, you've got to weed through the little ones, I guess. Um, 
I know that fish was a keeper. One thing, it was a big mark on the live scope. Number two, uh, he came back and he almost grabbed it again at the boat and I saw him. It looked like a two and a half pounder, so maybe two, two, two and a half pounds. That's cool. That's cool. Time is 11 hours, is about all I can take out here. Hey. Not real productive. I don't want to say that. Don't want to say it's not productive. Um, because I think maybe I eliminated some water. I do think there's some fish offshore, but you got to weed through the little ones, and you got to be throwing the right thing, the right time. I don't honestly think I can say I'm gonna catch a fish Saturday. I really, really feel that way. It's tough. Fishing in the Carolinas in September is freaking sucks, man. It's tough. I don't know. It's just transition time. Um, you would think getting bit wouldn't be too hard. Uh, I found some bait earlier and I followed that bait and there was just nothing even eating on it. Um, so I don't even know. I don't know if being around bait is, is what you got to have right now. I think it's I really don't know. We got another day to try to break things down. I'm gonna try to contain my uh, practice and hopefully my tournament within the nut bush area. Um, I'm not a bit. I don't like making long runs and stuff like that and wasting a lot of time in the actual run. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Where I'm gonna practice that. Honestly, this tournament will probably have me fishing a lot of history which usually isn't good. I fished some history today and I didn't get bit on it. In fact, um, I think most of the places today I caught fish where is brand new stuff. So I'm marking some stuff that looks good and I'm not getting bit on. I'm marking some areas where fish are nosing down at my bait but not eating it. Um, so we're gonna see, we'll see what tomorrow brings. I'm tired. Critical day, critical day. You know, when you're practicing, you don't just want to catch one fish here, one fish there. You want to catch fish in a consistent manner. Meaning, you catch fish on secondary points with rock. Or you catch fish on the lay down with some sort of Texas rig plastic or you catch fish offshore on stumps in 18 foot of water. Something very, very specific that you can run all around the lake with and duplicate. I haven't been able to do that. It is junk fishing for me the last couple of days. But we're gonna see what we can get on. I forgot my life jacket, so I gotta go get it. Now we're ready. Not what you think. Then, whatever you think it is, it's not that either. Nasty. We call these things jackfish. Chain pickerel, I think, is a scientific term. Big old. <laughs> Nasty toothy thing. see the problem I'm talking about that is first of all this fish has got a broken back or something's wrong with him but secondly 
maybe this whole time that's a that's a 14 incher maybe this whole time i've been fishing even when i think i'm fishing shallow i'm fishing too deep that fish he could not have been more shallow that fish had to be on the rock that is insane they are shallow god maybe it's not what i've been doing where i've been doing it it's how i've been doing it so i, I don't know if you can tell but i'm paralleling this rip wrap and you can tell also the wind's blowing right in on top of it but that fish was so shallow i and i think didn't yesterday i caught one super shallow too when i said he was in the dirt or he couldn't have been more shallow i think is what i said that is something that is something if i can catch another one doing that in super shallow then we will know we're on something tired uh, it's only two o'clock but i don't know man it's just been incredibly tough and uh i fished a bunch of brand new stuff i haven't never fished before today tried to stay off the stuff i knew and honestly we're just going to run history in this tournament it's, it's that simple uh fishing history uh a lot of times will get you in trouble but I really have no alternative. I fished a little bit of history um, earlier this week and I didn't do well on it. I did catch some fish on it, but they were small. Um, but we'll see what happens. I think it's fishing tough right now, but as always, I'm sure somebody's on them, but it sure ain't me. Um, I would fished shallow almost all day today. I say 90% of the day, I stayed shallow just looking for a, um, a shallow bite i came all the way back in a little nut bush when where it's very very stained back here uh skipped a bunch of docks there's nothing uh there's a lot of bait back here but there's i even see some fish kind of around them and under them on live scope but i don't know i just can't get bit it's tough it's a tough ass fishery right now i know that uh but tomorrow's a new day i will say the water temperature has dropped uh three or four degrees probably probably three degrees this morning as compared to previous mornings so let's get to that be the time of the year and uh, you know the only thing you can kind of hope for is this something the light switch turns on and these fish become a little bit more active and uh, you're at the right place at the right time we'll see how tomorrow morning goes i got a plan i got a milk run um from um from the launch site all the way up uh and so we're gonna make that milk run see what happens fish as hard as we can just like always Bigger about a half inch. Let's go. Let's go. 
Got it. He's waiting on parts, cheap parts. Fix it. He can still use it, but not to its full potential. And, uh, he's caught any spots up here yet? Setting hook on. Get that fish. Long time to get that bite. Mm. Need about two more of them. I might make it till the next day. Yeah, you know. Hi. Thank you. Yes, that was horrible. Matter of fact, and you slammed that for what? 
Matter of fact, that wasn't even recording. I forgot to hit record, so we gotta do it again. Well, I don't wanna be in it. All right. I'll have to edit you out. Am I in the video camera? Mm, not really. Oh. That's Car Lake. Are you gonna videotape? Hurry up, bro, it's hot. They're about to start their wedding. And your voice is echoing. Bro, it's kind of awkward to do it with you standing there. I guess you've seen all the videos and you know what I sound like anyway. That's it. That's Car Lake. I uh, only weighed in one fish today. Um, as you saw, I did have that one jump off another keeper. So even if I'd have landed that one, I only had two fish. I don't care who says what. Car Lake is fishing incredibly tough. Matter of fact, as far as I know, every lake in the Carolinas is fishing tough. It's just a tough time of year to fish. I don't know what the fish are doing. Did find a little pattern there at the end. It seemed to me like fish were in brush piles. Um, I got bit one, two, three times in a brush pile there at the end, but it was just too late in the day to really go try to capitalize on that. So, you know, I don't know. I couldn't find that bite in practice. Um, and so anyway, I, truthfully, my mind was on Lake Murray for this week anyway. I put more focus and time and, and thinking about and researching Lake Murray than really um, trying to figure out things here. Uh, this tournament didn't really mean a whole lot since I had already qualified for a regional. Um, but I did want to do good. It would have been nice to get my entry fee back and to make the cut and fish the second day. But I'm not too aggravated about it. it is what it is. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's Car Lake. It's just tough right now. Um, so that's that. I don't have nothing else to say. Packing up, going to Lake Murray here in a few days, and uh, we'll see how that turns out. That was the ultimate goal, was to make it to Lake Murray. We did that, and um, so we'll see you back in South Carolina here in a few days.